first and foremost, an immediate humanitarian ceasefire must be implemented. The bombardment must stop now. Second, all parties must comply with their obligations under international human rights law and international humanitarian law, especially as it relates to the protection of civilians and civilian facilities. Third, all hostages must be immediately and unconditionally released. And finally, full and unimpeded access to humanitarian assistance by those in need must be ensured. I am shocked and horrified at the reported killing and injury of hundreds of people during disbursement of food supplies west of Gaza City last week. This comes as the death toll in Israel and the Gaza Strip since October 7th has reached the 30,000 mark. 85% of Gaza's population or 1.9 million people are internally displaced. Israeli restrictions on the humanitarian access have drastically reduced the flow of life-saving aid to a mere trickle. UNRWA reports a significant 50% reduction in the number of trucks entering Gaza daily from January to February. It is therefore essential that we rapidly and substantially increase the scale of humanitarian operations and ensure unrestricted access to all civilians in need.